Hi, welcome back. The 3n plus 1 problem says start with any number. If it's even, cut it in half. If it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1, then repeat. The 3n plus 1 conjecture asks, does every number go to 1? Nobody knows the answer. So first of all, how long does it take for a number to reach 1? Here's a plot of different start numbers on the x-axis and how many steps they'd need to reach 1 on the y-axis. Everything's pretty much okay up until 26, which takes 10 steps to reach 1, but 27 takes over 100 steps, and so does 31. Overall, it's pretty unpredictable. But there's one interesting pattern. Adjacent numbers often take the same number of steps to reach 1. For example, here, and here, and here. Let's look at start numbers uh, a little bit bigger, 540, 541, and 542 they all take exactly 43 steps to reach 1. And you can see that 541 and 542 start out differently. One goes up, the other goes down. But after 10 steps, their trajectories merge. And for 540 and 541, they merge after just three steps. So why is that? First, every number has an operation sequence associated with it. So for example, the operation sequence for 540 starts out a half because 540 is even and then we cut it in half again and then we multiply by 3 and add 1. So let's think about applying those operations to any number m. So first we're going to multiply m by a half and then again by a half and then multiply that by 3 and add 1. And so if we simplify this we get 3 over 4m plus 1 after three steps. So we start with m, and three steps later we wind up with three quarters m plus one, a number that's a little bit smaller. The operation sequence for 541 starts out 3n plus one, because it's odd, and then it gets cut in half twice. Applying those operations to any number, m plus one, we get uh, 3n plus one plus one, and then times a half times a half. And if we simplify that, we also get 3 quarters m plus 1. So in other words, we start with m plus 1, and 3 steps later we wind up with 3 quarters m plus 1. Well, that's the same thing we had before, and so that's why the trajectories for these two numbers merge after 3 steps. Now, does this only happen with the numbers 540 and 541? Is it kind of a freak uh, accident? Well, it also happens with 548 and 549 and actually with every eighth pair of adjacent numbers. As long as the first number is divisible by 4, but not divisible by 8. So tons of adjacent pairs have trajectories that merge after three steps, and so they take the same number of steps to reach one. And actually, this is one of the tricks mathematicians use uh, when they confirm that the first billion billion numbers all go to one. After you check a number like 540 goes to one, you don't have to check 541 since you can be mathematically sure it also goes to 1. Okay, that was quick, so stay tuned for more 3n plus 1. In the next episode, we're going to discover why 3n plus 1 sequences go down uh, instead of up.